Greetings, everybody. This is Morning Eggnog. My name is James Hall. With me, as always, Caleb Fong. Good morning, everybody. So, Caleb, I found some really cool things on Facebook. As always. I found we just got some new lighting. We got this cool green screen background, which if you're watching the YouTube version... Hopefully um, it's not what, green anymore. What should we change it to? Uh, a cow. Okay, here's a cow. A past... Like... Wait. Ooh. It's like a Windows... Or should we... I was thinking inside a cow. Like, we're inside a cow right now. In, no, that'd be You said gross. a cow. Well, yeah, Fine, like... Fine, we'll go outside. There. Now we're outside the cow. Why... I was thinking like a really pretty pasture. You said cow, so it's like we're going inside a cow. We're in one of their stomachs. Anyway, so if you're watching the YouTube version, <laughs> we're sorry uh, for you this. know what's going on. James uh, is James is way too excited about this green. I'm screen. excited. So, I found a computer on there once and resold it for a lot of stuff. Would oh, you get it sold? Yeah, I sold it. Oh, that's awesome. Six hundred bucks. It was nice. Ooh. So I I made my money back and got a bunch of free stuff, but. Uh, YouTube Marketplace can have some really, really interesting things. Oh, goodness. Um, my The most recent one, every time I see them, I screenshot them. And I will put the picture in the video. I don't know. I'm not going to put the picture. It's a picture of a very pregnant woman uh, and standing in front of a mirror. And it says, I'm in need of help for baby boy clothes size newborn to th- and zero to three. I'm a single mother and due soon. Now. Hmm. And the, and the description is, please help me, I'm due in February, and it gets hard to do things on my own. And it's that is very hard. I've never been a single mother. That sounds like a horrible thing. <laughs> never been a... It's ho- just very... The, the picture that goes along with the Facebook Marketplace post is a little... It caught my eye. We'll say that. Yeah, because it looks like a dude's beer belly. It does look like a dude's beer belly at, at first glance. Um, so Another thing I saw on Facebook, this wasn't the Marketplace, but this is... From a current events page that I subscribe to, and it says, I'm not sure if this is a scam, but I want to see if anyone else has gotten this call. It says that it's a representative from Microsoft and they, they need my and that my license is being revoked due to my IP address being compromised in several countries. I'm supposed to call them and and get a new IP address. Anyone else get this call? Yeah, that's definitely a that's definitely a scam, isn't that's it? It's definitely a scam. Uh, yeah. It's just this is this is a funny one to me. It's a, a mannequin form for <laughs> half mannequin. Dang it, half form mannequins, and it's just a it's a mannequin body. But then they censored it by putting they put literally they censored. Drew, they put they a censor tag underwear. on it and then drew underwear because on it because it must be very uh, realistic. <laughs> Another one that I found. This oh, is this good. is lo- this is all local stuff. It's men's costume. This is Sparta. <laughs> it's two shirtless, somewhat ripped-ish, not really men in. What are those called? They're not kilts. What is that? I... Dresses. Little little Spartan dresses. Little leather dresses. And it's skirts. Leather skirts. Leather skirts. Yeah. And with red capes. So Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I would su- highly suggest. If you want a good laugh, I know Facebook is mostly for old people. Yeah, and, it and is. I trolled a bunch of people recently on Facebook. Uh, did you Did you see that post? It, I, you're not the first one who's done it. So I no. when I saw it, I was like, I think I know what this is. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I love people who don't. They look they at don't the picture read it. and they just they, they look at the picture and go, oh. <laughs> so in, congratulations, you are pregnant with two babies. Babies. So the post says, I waited till after Christmas, just when I thought life couldn't get any more hectic. It looks like 2020 will get even busier. These two are due in July. I can't wait to see the happiness they bring. And then it says, read more. And if you don't hit read more, there's a picture of a ultrasound of a baby A and a baby B. Baby A, baby B. And if you tap read more, it says, no idea who their parents are, but I feel, but feel free to repost and freak everybody out. And, yeah, I, I freaked out. There's a lot of people who just said I was a jerk, and then there were people who Weren't didn't paying read attention. <laughs> and said, your wife is pregnant with two babies? I went, I just I just liked their comment, and that's yeah. it. Double, it was a double fonts or yeah, something like said, that. Someone said, oh, boy, two fonts, that's terrible. Yeah, we as if it hasn't happened already. It hasn't. Because I have two font girls, and I, Jonathan has two font boys. Yeah, we're going to have triplets. Oh, Hope not. I hope not too. It's like instant family. We're done. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> no more. So, Caleb, what did you bring to share with us today? I didn't bring a single thing, so I'm oh boy. winging it today. So, yes, sir. 2019. 2019. It was a good year, it was in my opinion. Year. I had a good time. So, what was something 
great that happened in 2019? What was something that was not so great in 2019? One of the things that was pretty cool is they came up with a Tesla truck. That's one of the things that just, that's the only thing that comes to mind right now. Um, uh, <laughs> okay. If you follow anything on YouTube, uh, Team Trees planted 20 million trees. Oh, wow. Yep, there's, <clears throat> there's a YouTuber named Mr. Beast who raised awareness, and he planted like 20,000 trees. I was going to thought you were going to say, yeah, he went behind them and burned the trees as they were planting them. <laughs> Mr. Beast! Not quite. <laughs> but he uh, he raised awareness, and then I think it took it took six months. I don't know, it took a while, but every dollar donated to Team Trees was a tree. So they raised over $20 million to plant trees. That's really cool. Yeah, so that was those are two really good things. Yeah, so I was um, personally... For my 2019 was a crazy year for for me, because uh, I quit. <laughs> yeah, James is already laughing. Yeah, so I quit my job of three years of of moving furniture and decided I would change careers and go into the HVAC uh, career. Um, I was hired in with a company, and then the company decided to let me go because they found some more guys with more experience. So for the first time in my life, I was let go from a job. You weren't fired. I was fi- fired. Fired implies you did something wrong. Yeah, exactly. You were just let go. I was let go because of a couple guys with more experience, and they needed. You know, they didn't. They Fun wanted. fact: one of those guys was a crackhead. <laughs> I'm, James, I'm trying to keep it so people don't necessarily know who. Oh, I, nobody knows. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> so I got let go for the first time in my life, and I was freaking out because. It was kind of one of my things. Like, like, I have kids at home and a wife at home and uh, uh, no income. Well, I was going to say, actually, one of my things is I've never been fired or let go from a job. Yeah. Which is actually, if you think about it, a pretty awesome statement. It is. So I lost that statement. I can no longer say I was never let go from a job. Yep. Um, so I went about two months without a job, which is really weird for me because I've always have had a job one job or, i've been had jobs since i was like nine years old yes mom would often talk about you and your <clears throat> determination and saving because i was not a good saver as well i was i was an okay saver but she talked about how this kid right here bought his own four-wheeler when how old were you you uh, couldn't even buy it i couldn't even buy it i believe i was 14 years old when i uh, you bought a three thousand dollar yeah four-wheeler and it was i drove that a lot as much as i possibly could well <laughs> the reason i bought it was one for fun but two, I actually delivered newspapers with it. I strapped a, uh, a tote bag or a <clears throat> it was actually a, a basket, a basket. laundry basket <laughs> to the back of the four wheeler. I bungee strapped a basket down to my four wheeler and threw all the newspapers in it. And I drive through town, and it did speed up my my delivery time by quite a bit. I never did the paper job because mom was like, "Do you really want to get up at Sundays at five in the morning?" Yeah, that was brutal. Um, plus, a lot of times you actually had to put the supplements in uh, oh, to, to the gosh. newspaper so you oh, had to sit son- there oh christmas oh it was awful it uh, was awful but you always got the first look at the um what was coming out Ooh. so that was kind of fun but you like know, oh so-and-so died early in the morning <laughs> yeah because at 14 years old i made sure to read, <laughs> read the, the obituaries, obituaries. <laughs> <laughs> ha, i'm the first one to read garfield today <laughs> yeah that was actually true i was able to be the first one to look at the comic strip so that was something fun about that. But anyways, back to um, I always have had a job. That was something that was who I am. I've always had a job. And so going two months without a job was really weird for me. And then out of the blue, a guy from church says, hey, I heard you didn't have a job, and I've got this position open in Toledo. My guy hurt his knee, and he we need to get it filled. And so for I think it was four months, I drove to Toledo and delivered electrical equipment in Toledo. And one of the funny things you always told me about is how much pot someone smoked. Oh, yeah. There was a guy, a lady. Uh, I was just driving through town, and there was a lady smoking pot in, the, in her car. She and, just, if, and if you go on our Instagram in the early days of the podcast, uh, you can see different funny things from Toledo that, that you found. Oh, goodness. Yeah. You go back a ways. There's some excellent pictures of me just finding random things I found funny on the road. And uh, probably it was taking pictures while I was driving, which might not have been the safest. It's totally fine. Uh, yeah, it should be fine. But anyways, so so I got that job, and I enjoyed it for the most part. I do not like Toledo. I have found out I do not like Toledo. Especially driving in it. Especially, mainly driving. Mainly driving, yes. Um, but after four the, but months- Chick-fil-A is there. 
Oh gosh, yeah. How much That's weight did another... you gain? Any weight from Chick Fil A? I think I got ten pounds <laughs> while working that job. I believe I gained ten pounds because there's good food there. Oh man, it was awesome. They had donuts and they had like, I mean, ice cream. They always had stuff for the guys coming in. Oh but geez. Fortunately, I'm one of those people that if I see food, I have to eat it. You're a seafood kind of guy. I'm a seafood kind of guy. So, great job. Uh, I started putting my application back out um, for the HVAC career because I wanted it. I was doing school for it. And after just three days, uh, I got a, a call in to, to go into this uh, interview. And I got the job within five days of putting in my application, application in. I got a job, and it has just been one of the best jobs I've had at, at, as so far. In my life. And uh, <clears throat> I got a call yesterday. I was doing, I'm all, I'm the plumbing field. He's the HVAC guy. Yep. And uh, he has to do some plumbing once in a while. And he called me and said, hey, I have a plugged toilet. What <laughs> yes. do I do with this? <laughs> yes. And I went, what I would do, I told him what I do with it. And it's, it's gross. Was that gross? Did it work? It it did work. Um, Definitely not my favorite job I've done. See, the taste of plumbing that uh, Caleb got from working at the company with me is that it's smelly. We, we took out a bunch of old piping. Yep. <laughs> and it was very old, and then we were taking it out for a reason. It was rotting through because there was a bunch of junk stuck inside it, and Caleb uh, didn't really appreciate the smells that he went home with that day. I, I mean, I can deal with it. I mean, I don't like start throwing up at the smell, but it definitely wasn't my favorite. You have kids. You can't throw up at smells as much. No, it wasn't definitely not my favorite odor. But uh, yeah, the auger was actually, I don't want to say fun to use. It's fun to use. Okay, don't lie. it was actually pretty. <laughs> you know, you're a plumber or an HVAC guy when you are augering something and you pull out a long stretch of hair and it's satisfying, not absolutely disgusting. Something's wrong with your brain. <laughs> Okay, if that had happened, I think I would have a little bit, but... <laughs> yes, if a bunch of hair is plugging your toilet, you got a problem. Yes, and HVAC, thankfully, there's not a lot of hair or poop or any other bodily... Or roots. Or roots or any other bodily fluids that or are involved. wipes that are not biodegradable and should not be flushed down your drain. Even if they say flushable, don't do it. Exactly. So, they're, so um, yeah, it was satisfying. Um, they, I would definitely encourage them to get a toilet that flushed a lot harder. Because it was like one of those toilets that's just like, oh, la ta It was probably really old. And then it kind of slowly went down. I'm like, yeah, you guys need a toilet that'll launch that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like a sucker. countdown to a, to a rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they need to do. That would be so much fun. You push the button, it's like, launching turd in five. Technically, four. that's what uh, Japanese toilets do. <laughs> yeah, except it's in Japanese and you can't understand it. Yeah. That would be awesome, though. But it also and shoots your butt with water. Yeah, I don't think. I, I think would we're enjoy just weird. That. I think we're just weird, and we don't know about it. I, I mean, think it, we'd enjoy it. Getting clean without having to touch your own butt. I don't mind touching my own butt. That's weird. No, it's not. It's I a don't natural like touching thing. My butt. Anyways, leave leave your comment down below. Do you like touching your own butt? Don't answer wipe, that comment. To, to wipe it, not <laughs> not just touching it. Okay, we're moving on with this topic. <laughs> So anyways, that was my <laughs> 2019. So it was a wild ride, and, but I, I am very blessed uh, to to have had my 2019. A lot of people on Facebook are like, I'm so glad it's gone, you stupid. May your, say this with me, your 2020 will be the best year of your life. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you said that about 2019 too as well. But anyways, that's besides Everything is perspective. Just have a good outlook on things. But I don't need contacts anymore because it's 2020. (laughs) Sam took off his glasses and made that in this podcast. (laughs) I would... (laughs) Ow! That was a lot lot harder than I went. Yeah, it totally peaked out. (laughs) It's just one line. All right. I had a good 2020. 2020. I, I'm going to have a good 2020, but I had a good 2019. Uh, nothing super remarkable happened. I went to Florida. That was nice. Well, that That's something remarkable. I guess. I've been to Florida before, though. I drove, I this year, I drove to Florida and back from Florida without stopping because I'm a maniac. Yeah, that's that's a little bit on the insane it side. It was super duper horrible on the way back. On the way there, we listened to the Alex Jones Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. Uh. 
It's a five hour long podcast. Oh, and how do you go? Fi- do they? They gotta take potty breaks. In they do somewhere. take potty breaks, but <laughs> Alex Jones is a very interesting person, and was talking about how they have goat human hybrids. That was part of what he was talking about, you know, and he's seen them. Hmm, an interesting fellow. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, that's that's one thing I I did this year. Then on the way back was pretty horrible. I mean, there is a man who's like dresses like a goat and has like these weird. No, no, the government is making human or goat spider. Yeah, goat and spider hybrids. Oh, oh, goat spider. I thought you said goat human. I did. They have those two. No, pig human. I don't remember. They have many hybrids down in the laboratories under Fort Knox or wherever they do it. Oh, I don't know. But he went on and on for five hours, and Olivia. We were driving at like four in the morning. And so Olivia had to like pause it because she was getting freaked out by what he was talking about because he was talking about some crazy conspiracies. So I don't know. I didn't have anything super. I can't think of anything. I worked every day that I worked. <laughs> what did I even do this year? Okay. We started a podcast. We started a podcast and, last and we, year. And so we've been continuing to do it. And, and it's gotten to the point where we actually have a green screen. We have a green screen now. We have lights. We have a camera. We have good equipment. So. In 2019, you have built a podcast. We went to GameCon. I guess we went to GameCon. We did a GameCon. And that was really fun. We went around and interviewed people. People really enjoyed that. Yeah. 54 people on YouTube have seen it. That's amazing. <laughs> um, the new Call of Duty came out. I don't know. A lot of stuff happened. I don't know. I'm, I didn't. I didn't. You reflect. really don't like talking about your personal stuff, do you? I also didn't reflect on anything. So yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, that's part. Of, when you get older, you start like reflecting. One of the more things you notice is that as time goes by, you start paying attention. I gained a bunch of weight this year. Shut up, James. I gained thirty pounds this year. What? From February, I gained thirty pounds. Well, the thing is, is you don't look like you've gained thirty. That's pounds. what people tell me. It I... looks. You look like you've filled out. So maybe you're just yeah. gaining gaining your it's man not bod. Go- it's not good weight. Oh, well, in that case, I got a spare tire. <laughs> every hey, I'm every, depressed. Every man who usually gets married, unless they're like a weirdo, usually gets something. Yeah, normally it's part of. They being- stop working out. They stop caring. I'm looking at you, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. Every time there's a bus, I just push Sam under it. <laughs> hey, look, Sam, a bus. <laughs> <laughs> We like making fun of we Sam. We love Sam. Sam is, Sam's fun. To and make Sam fun. is our best friend. My best friend. And he's James's best friend. I'm just slightly friends with Sam. Exactly. Slightly. That's more than slightly. That's like an inch. That's an inch and a half. Inch of a friend. No, it's an inch and a three eighths. Yeah, it's somewhere in there. Somewhere in that. If you're watching the YouTube version, he's holding his fingers. I kind of want to get a tape measure right now and actually measure the distance. We can do that later. I don't want to pull out a tape measure and yeah. measure, measure anything on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, is I don't know if I can go the entire time holding my fingers like this. <laughs> I'm going to try. Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. The the last thing that I'm going to talk about, something else I found on Facebook. I think I'm a boomer because I'm on Facebook all the time. There's a, there's some funny stuff on Facebook. We follow a guy named Kenny Williams. He was on this podcast's Lava. We interviewed him, and he tore the top of a pop can off of his teeth. Yeah, because he's a monster. He's a monster, and he has an awesome barber shop. Um, I'll link that in the description. CCF Media did a great coverage of that. Thank you. Um, but he he is very savage on Facebook, and it's very funny. I love the ones where he posts, and you're like, oh, and nobody likes it because they're like, I can't like it because then my name is attached <laughs> Exactly, to it. and it will show up in your friend's feed. Because I've done that sometimes where I'm like, <laughs> I can't like that. I can't like that. <laughs> Darn it. I love it. And you almost want to like private message him. It's like, that one was really good. <laughs> I mean, you can just hit the send button and then send it to his messages. Yeah. Anyways, so one of the things I found on Facebook that I thought was an interesting question, it was from the Cable Road Alliance Church, is what is the best thing to do in your hometown? Now, I grew up in a very small town named Evansport, <laughs> where there, and he also was like two blocks away or whatever it is because we didn't have blocks. Yeah, we do. We do. Kind of. Past your house, we don't have blocks. That's true. <laughs> past my house. Actu- no, seriously, past my house, there's, we, there's a block, and then- Actually, there's one, two- What is that, there's south? There's four blocks. South, there's not blocks. Yeah, there's three or four blocks to the north, and then after that, it's just one road. Yep. If you blink, you miss it. It's a cute little town. It was great to grow up in. We would walk around at night at like two in the morning, because 
Not all the time. Not all the time, but there was nothing going to happen. Yeah, it was a pretty safe. There's town. literally 200 people there. Yeah. But, um, what was the best thing to do in our town, Caleb? Do you have any idea? I I've got a couple. Uh, so the the when I was a kid, the thing to do was Wednesday nights. Uh, they would have a euchre tournament. I don't think I knew about this. You didn't know about that? No. Almost in the wintertime, that was something they did at the Fox Club, was they would have a Euchre tournament, and it would go, I think it was two or three months it would go, and you would count all your points up. Uh, you would play with different people. and you would count amazing. Your, and you would count your points up, and at the end uh, of that two or three months, you they would actually, it cost money to be in it, so you would make... Two or three hundred bucks was like the first. Did you place. ever do it? No, because you know we had Wednesday nights. We did uh, youth Church, group, yeah. so we never got to do it. But you, every time we drive by, it would be packed full of people playing euchre. It was really, really cool. Um, so that was probably one of the main things. I just learned something new about the town I lived in. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Um, did you Did you ever go into the bar in town? Uh, actually, this uh, I have never been in there. Actually, just this year, um, literally. Last year. This is the small town portion of the podcast. Yeah, small town portion. Uh, I went out with my sisters, uh, Emily and Rebecca, and Emily's husband, Scott. And we went to, we were going to go to town, and we were going to go to the Firestone Pizza in Defiance. Very good. And it was closed. Everything was closed there, but it had nothing saying it was closed. So it's lame. It was lame. So we ended up going to Applebee's, which was, you know, it's Applebee's. It's pretty good. I don't go to Applebee's anymore. You the last like three times I've gone there, I've been very disappointed. You should go back. That they have they've improved stuff. You should get their pork, um, pork belly uh, tacos. I think I don't know. I've also had to go in the back and clean their drains out. Oh well, yeah. I mean, if you go there for that reason, no wonder you don't want to go. <laughs> You're like, this place is nasty. It's nasty. And Everything's nasty. Gross. But anyways, after that, we we're like, well, where do we want to go? And everybody's like, let's go to Barney's. I've never been to Barney's. They have very good food. I've heard they have very good food. So we went in. And it was actually a really nice little bar. Yeah. Um, I, they actually have a shuffleboard in there. The hand, really? the hand ones. Um, and so Scott and I, we we played shuffleboard for probably fifteen, uh, probably half an hour to an hour, and then more people came in and wanted to play. But it was super fun. Um, we'll so, have to. We could do a podcast from there. <laughs> I mean, we could. But uh, so we played shuffleboard for a long time, and it was a. It actually had a uh, a jukebox on the wall, so you could put money in and actually play different songs. And that is where everybody in town, except for the fonts, really. Uh, that's where they got their first job, like really? washing dishes. You can wash dishes when you're like 15. Oh well, yeah, it's definitely a little community, and it was a really nice. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was a nice little bar. It was. I enjoyed going in and talking with my friends and stuff. It was actually. It was a cool little bar it really is now i can't think of the the thing that comes to mind when i think of my small town and the best thing to do there is every it was in the winter the summer there's there was stuff to do um like there's vacation bible school that was always fun for us because we went there there's the golf cart poker run yes the golf cart poker run because literally everybody in town has a golf cart because it's a small town so why would you drive your car anywhere yeah we didn't have a golf cart we got a motorcycle and then dad fell off it now we're not allowed to even drive it you guys still have the scooter? Oh, yeah, they still have it. Does it even run? Oh, yeah, it still runs. It just doesn't have a windshield, and they haven't done anything with it. Too bad. Yeah. You should get and then that da- I, around town. I was going to buy it from them, and they said no. Why? Because. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because. I don't know. Okay, then. I really don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, Green rant. Green rant. Because. <laughs> okay, um, then. <laughs> well, the thing that comes to mind is, at least when I was a kid, we had we lived next to a family named the Nafsigers, and they lived on the hill in town. Naf and Naf. They were Nafsigers. Okay. And they had, a, one of their kids, Philip, was amazing at building uh, a sledding route. And so you would go down, there was two sections of the hill, it would go down, it plateaued, and then it went down again, and then there's a creek at the bottom, so you wanted to stop before you went to the creek. Mm-hmm. Or if we had a really hard winter, go the creek it. would freeze, and so he made a thing across it, and then you would loop, you hit a bank, and you came back up on the other, on the side, the, the first side. He's very creative. And so it was, we went sledding all the time, and then we, there was another sledding hill, they started dumping all of the snow, uh... 
on the back streets. Do you, the goose did you ever, yeah, the gooseneck. That's what it was called because it was a marshy land. It was where the river orig- first went, and then it changed directions, and so it was uh, kind of a dry, swampy area. Exactly. And so they started. They started. <laughs> no, it didn't make any sense. <laughs> they started piling the snow at the top of this hill. So, uh, what they did is they dug a hole through it. <coughs> oh yes, we love doing safe things like <laughs> yes, digging, digging a hole, hole through a snow mound. <laughs> There's no way this will fall on us. <laughs> this is fine. We'll be fine. But I think that we would bring up buckets of water, and he would ice it. Yeah. And so that it would be safe. But that was one of the fondest memories I have from my small town is sledding in the winter because we had lots of hills. And my mom was always talking about how we were so lucky because they lived where it was flat. Yeah. And I said, okay, mom. (laughs) Okay, you boomer. (laughs) (laughs) Like, oh, back in, oh, and I bet you had to walk uphill to walk uphill to school though, didn't you? Yeah. They had to have a horse draw their, they all draw their sleds. It was the Something most exciting like thing they could do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I think we'll wrap this thing up. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check us out on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. And you can watch us on YouTube at James Fox Podcast. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, Morning Eggnog. And you can email us at morningignog at gmail.com. If you'd like to be on the podcast or if you have a topic you want us to bring up, message us on all of those things. And uh, be sure to leave a comment on YouTube because we, we just need we need traffic. Please. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, what should we have in the background to, to end it? Uh, Jaws. All right, here's Jaws. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Here, look scared. <gasps> Thank you.